Let's create this animation effect. I'll show you how to create the entire interface. Then I'll show you how to animate it completely entirely on PowerPoint 2013. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to create an interface. So I'm going to go to insert, go to shapes, and I'm going to create a rectangle just over here. Just like that. And I'm going to repeat the process a lot of times. And you will see how I smooth out the process. So I'm going to go to shape outline, go to no outline and go to shape fill and make a little light color, something like that. Then I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it and pick some bright colors like this. Then I'll minimize it just like that and put it right there. Press Ctrl D again to duplicate it, put it right there and press Ctrl D to duplicate it again and I'll put it right in the middle. Done. Then what I'll do is randomize these things and put it right there and increase it and make it red. And I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it or maybe just hold it down Ctrl Shift. I'll just drag all of this and make some copies out of it. And I'll create something like that. And the main target is to create some interface kind of stuff. So I'm creating some random interface and I'll have something like this. Alright, so for the final part I'll create something really small over here, down on the bottom. And something over here. And right over here. Done. And I should change the color so that it doesn't seem monotonous and if it shouldn't get caught if I repeat it multiple times. Something like this. Done. Then for the next part, what I will do is just drag over this, hold it down, control shift, I'll just drag this like that. Done. Then what I will do is just randomize the colors. Again, and I'll have something like this, red color, then I'll put this green, I'm gonna pick some yellow and make this a bit greenish and the rest are just fine I'm just gonna keep putting colors like that just like that so I have some random colors just like that some boxes so we're almost ready to go now what we'll do is drag over all of this and I'll zoom out a bit holding on that and holding on control shift I'll just drag it just in the bottom part just like that and our main thing is ready. Now, the box I first created, I'm going to change the color a bit, the red box, just like that. I'm going to stretch it all over the place, like that. Just like that. So that you can see what I've done. Or maybe change it this color to this color, so you can see what I've done. So for the next part, what I will do is just drag out all of this, right click, and group them together. Or if you want to make the process very smooth, you should paste them as a picture. Sorry about that. I'm going to first right click and copy them, then paste them as a picture. And I'll have something like this. A Lego block, if you will. I'm going to delete this and I'll have something like this. Then the next part is the most crucial part. What I need to do is create a line animation. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to click on the thing, the block, then I'm going to go to animation. And click on this then I'm going to go to lines and I have something like this then my goal is to put this yellow thing this yellow thing right on top of it exactly perfectly because I have duplicated it once so if I put it right on top of it it should match just perfectly I'm gonna zoom in a bit just like that and I'll have to make it just perfect because if it's not perfect it would just not loop perfectly so yes done so I've looked at it perfectly done now what I will do is delete this back part done and I'll just put it right in the middle now I have to create an interface surrounding it so what I will do is first create a round rectangle over here just like that I'm gonna smooth it out a bit like that and minimize it a bit slightly slightly minimize it yeah done <laughs> for the next part i'll go to insert i'll go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it on top of it so i have two things this part i'm going to change the color so that you can clearly see the green part and this big part so i'll select this and the thing on top of it so i'll drag over this and i'll select the bottom part I'm going to bring it to the front so you can see and I'll hold it down control 
I'll select this. Then I'll go to Format and go to Merge Shapes and select Combine. And I have something like this. Then I'll go to Shape Outline, No Outline, and go to Shape Fill and make it white. So that I have something like this. If I click on the animation, I'll have something like this. Then all I need to do is create an interface. So I'll go to Shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it on top of it. Just like that. Very easy stuff. And I'll smooth it out a bit. Smooth. Yep, done. Then I'm gonna put it right over here on top of it. Then I'll get rid of the shaded fill. So I'm gonna click No Fill. I'm gonna go to Shape Outline and make it 25% lighter black. Then I'll go to there again and increase the weight to about 6 points. So that it creates something like this. Then for the final part, I'll go to Shapes again and click this thing around the same side corner rectangle and drag it over here and smooth it out a bit and I'll put it like that and put it right over here and just increase decrease the size a bit and put it right over here and I'm going to make the same color that and this all right so far we have this if I click on the animation I'll have something like this now I want it to loop again and again and again so what I will do is just click on it click on the actual brick then I'll go to animations and go to animation pin then I'll have this triangle over here I'll go to effect options and I'll zero them down both then I'll go to timing and repeat until the end of slide and start with previous then hit ok and if I open the slideshow I'll have a continuous loop of streaming interfaces and that's how you create the ultimate streaming loop face on powerpoint so if you want to add something more to it you can just go as crazy as you want you can be creative as you will so I'm gonna add something so I'm gonna add some word art over here so what can I add uh, life is what oh by the way the tutorial is over so I'm just adding something that I wish so life is what happens while you while your I'm gonna change the font to dagger square life is what happens while you're busy making excuses I just feel like typing it so I'm typing it and put it right over here so yeah I'm gonna put it right over there and do you know design it a bit further or what I can do is make it monochrome so it seems nice so what I just did is just clicked on the brick go to format and go to color and make something like this so that it seems monochromatic and it's it's a bit classy feel I guess the next thing what I'll do is just drag over all of this and put them a bit down so that it's in the middle and just like that or maybe I'll drag up the entire thing and put it just on the right and I'll make this text small so that it creates a classy look yeah this should serve just fine life is what happens while you're busy making excuses what excuses are you making now while watching this video <laughs> all right and I'm gonna get rid of this and put it right over here and I'm gonna minimize this text a bit and fit it right over here and our thing is done to add some more spice in it I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and create some apostrophes and divide them by enter and put them right over here and we are done so our post is ready life is what happens when you're busy making excuses so you will see there's a gap over the top I just need to put it on top and I just need to put the laptop a bit up yep done and I'll have to put the text a bit up also and this thing also so our animation is done you will see there's still a glitch let me tell you how this happens I'm gonna go to shape fill and make this this color so as you can see there's a gap so I'll put it right in the right spot and I'll put it in the right spot and I'll still have some gap on top of the place 
so I'll just create another rectangle just over here and make it white just like that and it make it white also so our post is ready life is what happens while you're busy making excuses that's how you create the entire interface only on PowerPoint thanks for watching the entire tutorial hope you will share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be uploading more of these videos very soon thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe and share